In addition to the banner user preference settings that can be set for banner admin pages, there are also personal settings that can be applied within the Application Navigator homepage. First, let's review a few of the existing items on the left side of the screen. The last icon looks like a person. You can see a bubble with a number. This is letting me know that I have 40 banner messages. Our OIT team delivered an email message for this when we converted to Banner 9. The data remains here in GUAMESG until you remove these items by deleting them. So click on the person icon or the My Account menu and then check Banner Messages and delete these messages if you no longer need them. And click Save. The second item on the My Account menu is My Preferences. The first tab on the page is for Display Options. Notice I have mine checked to show the form name or the acronym on the title bar. And you can see it here, G-U-A-U-P-R-F. And also, it will display in the menus since this box is checked. I also have boxes checked to show the release number of the form on the title bar and the database instance on the title bar. That is this 9.3.9 .9 is the release number and the database instance is production. The next section has alert options that can be checked or unchecked. And the third section gives you the option to include the header row in data extract when you export to Excel. This is helpful to have checked. The last section of the page has user interface color settings so that you can modify the colors that appear on your banner screen. Be careful when making these changes. The next tab is directory options. I would encourage you to leave these settings as they are with the default values in place. The third tab is My Links. You can create links on your Banner Dashboard Applications menu to quickly open a new browser tab for you to access a website. This is helpful if you reference another website while also in Banner. Just remember that other applications requiring dual authentication could time out and cause your banner session to also time out. The final tab is Menu Settings. There's no need to make any changes here. So after you save any changes, you would need to exit Banner and re-enter for those changes to take effect. The next choice on the My Account menu is Personal Settings. This is a new option with the recent banner upgrade. Three options are available for personal settings. The first is, do you need sign out confirmation, yes or no? If you set the option to yes, when choosing sign out from the left side menu, you will be asked if you are sure you want to exit. The second option is preferred initial page. You can basically bypass the banner welcome page and go straight to a specific banner admin page when logging into banner. Enter that acronym here if there is a page that you look at initially each time you enter banner. Otherwise, you can leave it blank to go to the welcome page. The third option is search preference indicator. This will be your preference for your home or welcome page and your search icon on the left side menu. So check the radio button for either search that brings up options for you and tries to autofill your answer or direct navigation where the exact page name or acronym must be entered and Banner does not try to autofill the search until you have finished entering your selection. Choose save when you are done so let's sign out using the icon with the arrow on the left side menu 
It asks if we really want to sign out. Now let's log back in and see what happens. Our initial landing page goes to the page we selected in our preferences. If we go to the home icon on the left side of the menu, you can see the change that we made to our default of our search. The next icon that looks like a grid is Applications. Applications has three options. Banner, the original banner menu with each banner module listed, then grouped by section, then down to the specific banner pages. Note the star beside these pages. This allows you to set favorites. Select the star beside the page for frequently used pages. Uncheck the star to remove it from favorites. The second option under applications is my banner. This is where you can set up your own personal menu for banner. Set up your menu by going to G-U-A-P-M-N-U. This is the My Banner maintenance screen. You can either choose Go or Alt Page Down. Choose the Oracle Forms module and you can access the list by clicking in the table. You can then scroll through and move items to your menu by highlighting and double clicking a form or object and choosing insert selection. You could also filter this list to look up various forms and objects and move them to your menu. Once in the object selection side of the screen, you can change the description of the page if you prefer. Choose Save to save your changes and you would need to exit Banner and return for your changes to take effect. You will notice the stars are also out to the side on our banner menu. We can add these items to our favorites as well. The outline of the star would not be in your favorites list, but if the star is filled in, it will be in your favorites list. The third option under Applications is My Links. These were defined previously under My Preferences. The next icon on our left side menu is a magnifying glass for search, which is the same as the option available on our welcome page. The next icon is a folder that sometimes has a bubble with a number. This shows the number of recently opened pages in our banner session. If you choose the menu option, it shows you banner pages recently accessed that you can quickly access again. The next icon in our left side menu is a question mark for help. This is banner delivered help for the specific page you are viewing. There is also an option for Application Navigator keyboard shortcuts. Then finally, the last icon for us to discuss is the star for favorites that you chose to add to this list. The items can be removed from your list by clicking the star. I hope this helps you set up some personal preference settings in the Application Navigator and be sure to check out our Banner User Preference Settings 
for other banner administrative pages. Thank you.